Welcome to the DSM, the Vibrating Sample Magnetometer. I am Walter Ström and I will show you how to operate this instrument and first how to prepare the sample, position the sample in the pickup coils, how to adjust the DSM console and how to operate the software. We start by switching on the cooling water for the electromagnet. Here we have four pickup coils and the sample should be located in the middle. The DSM itself is switched on already. And here we have the software. We need to check that the port settings are correct. COM3 and COM4. Yes. Now we need to start the power supply for the electromagnet. Only one button needs to be operated. Now it's time for sample preparation. I have already weighed the sample and found that the weight is 7.8 milligrams. It is important that you weigh the sample beforehand. It is a piece of a staple and I have now taped it at the bottom of the plastic straw. The sample, this little piece of the staple, is what you see here at the end of the straw. It is important that it is horizontal, that is perpendicular to the axis of the straw. That is all that is needed. Now we will mount the sample in the magnetometer. Okay, now we shall position the sample, but before we need to switch this knob to the standby position. And now we come to the rod here, and now it is important, very important, that the long axis of the sample is in the direction of the field, the field between the two pole pieces in the electromagnet. At the same time. you may need some force to do that and in that case you should have a counter force with your hand with your other hand and then you should by eye see that the height of the sample is exactly between the two pairs of the pickup Now it comes to the very important positioning of the sample. And in that case, we first need to operate this knob into the moment position. We also need a magnetic field. Therefore, check that the power supply is on. And then we need to apply the field. And that is done from the software screen. 42 amps is more than sufficient. When I press the set button, the power supply will put out 42 amps. Let us see what happens on the console. This is the sensitivity range. 
and this number here should never exceed 1.000. This means that the sensitivity is too high. This is okay. Now we have two adjustments to do. One is to position the sample in the direction of the magnetic field. And we should find the position where the reading is the least. Then we should find the position along this direction where the reading is at the maximum. We first do it in the magnetic field direction and this is this knob here. So I have a look at the reading now it increased, so I go in the other direction. And now it goes up again. So it happened that I already was at the correct position. Now I need to do it in the Y, <coughs> in the other direction where I should find the maximum. I keep an eye on the reading. Now it goes down. They can be a bit hard. And do this a bit slowly. It happened, I was already at the correct. This is now correctly positioned. Now we need to prepare for an actual measure. First, I would like to take down the current to zero amps. Then, and this is exciting, this is exceedingly important, this knob here, which corresponds to sensitivity, must correspond to the sensitivity setting on the console. This sample, I don't know a proper maximum feed. My guess though says that 16 amps which corresponds to 1975 Ørsted or 158 kiloamps per meter might be a good start. Therefore I put max current to 16 amps and 50 points is a good number for number of points. Here we have time per point, and in this case 800 milliseconds. That means that it takes 800 milliseconds after the power supply has changed the current until the voltmeter takes the reading. At that point it takes one point, it waits 200 milliseconds and takes another point. And what is stored is the average value. 16 Since I will not exceed 2000 Ørsted, we should use the 2K Hall probe position and that is also a position which must correspond to the 
magnetic field measuring device here, which means I must put this to this position. For reasonably strong samples, which this is, I can in fact use this position for time constant. This position in reality means a time constant of about 0.1 second. That should also match the time per point waiting time. For the external time constant position, 800 milliseconds is a good time. At this point, we need to do one thing before the measurement, and that is to degauss. Degauss means that we use this number and apply a current and then we apply a slightly less current but in the other direction and the third current a little less in magnitude but still in another direction. So the magnetic field will continuously decrease in amplitude but have a plus and minus direction. And that is in order to demagnetize the sample and to demagnetize the pole pieces of the electromagnet. Watch the screen now. This is time, and this is magnetic field. This is zero. Positive field, negative field. Now the degauss procedure is over, and we can start the measurement. Watch the screen. This is the virgin coil. Okay, it took a few minutes, but now the measurement is over. Now we need to save this data. And where shall we save it? Maybe in the data files, and then we should see our course name MH 1026, spring semester 16. And if you don't have in a better imagination, the program will give you a systematic name, and that is today's date and time. But we could add statements. That's it. Thank you.